Hi, Zainul Abdeen here. Uh, my G number is 20836558. I repeat, 20836558. I'm here to demonstrate my mobile computing assignment. Uh, the app I have made, uh, I will open it now. As you can see, this is the main screen, the home screen. It shows uh, a list of products. Uh, all the products are in a few, in in a list, and the list is a, a part of a Future Builder. So the data we are cutting from database only the images from the internet. Uh, you can see all these products here you can scroll up and down I've got a default tab controller at in uh, here at the bottom uh, we got three screens here in in the default default tab controller add screen home screen list manager and the fourth screen is is pushed on top of uh, these screen when uh, when I select a product uh, the on the main list it shows the name of the product the picture and the grade for example if I tap a product let's suppose I tap Red Bull and it says the name Red Bull uh, then the picture grade ingredients and nutritions or oh, this is the fourth screen and it go back goes back to the main menu when you press back uh, I can see any other product for example Walker's prawn cocktail these are the crisps and again the name is on top then picture then grade ingredients and nutrition the next screen is add screen uh, we have a container here which says no product found please enter a barcode to search so this screen here you can add a new product search for it and add it to a list uh, you can search in two ways either you enter a barcode in the uh, in the text uh, uh, field or you can scan it through camera so if I search for a barcode I have some barcode here I will type it down and I press search now so it's searching and that's it it has found this product the product name is on the top again the same layout uh, then the image grade ingredient and nutrition I can add this product to my list by pressing plus sign here and then it gives me an option to add this to any other list so if I press it to favorites it, is, it shows product added in the snack bar if I try to add this product again in any of the list it says product is already in a list so you can't add a product more than once uh, if you enter a random barcode and the product is not there it will show you no product found please enter a barcode to search so, and if I uh, try to add this barcode to a list it will say it's an it's not a valid product enter a valid barcode so you are you can't add a product which is not a valid product uh, I will scan few product with my camera as well I've got these elements here and it has scanned it now I've got all the name for it uh, 
then item description grade and all the information which is available from the website one thing I need to mention that I have used the journal name instead of uh, English names uh, because uh, a lot of English names were coming up null so I have decided to use journal name rather than English name from the data we receive from the website again I can add this to my healthy list so these elements are now added to the list I can scan for another product this is a Hovis bread let's see if we can find this this has been added as well and I will put it in avoid uh, you you may have noticed that there is a spinning widget a spinning a sign of uh, when the screen loads up there is a spinner spinning sign of uh, uh, which tells you that something is happening and the screen is loading you need to wait so I've used uh, the flutter spin kit for it to show that that emanation when something is loading when a, when an asynchronous function is called uh, it displays that emanation, emanation and tell you that uh, the request is the, the, the request has been sent and you need to wait for it uh, I'm gonna add another product uh, this is KitKat dark chocolate and here it is I found this let's add it to favorite so it's been added if I try to add the similar product again in any list let, let's say healthy it's already added it's showing that you can't add it again or maybe favorite now it's already added right uh, if I scan a product which is not on a website obviously this is not a food product but I will still scan it and see if it works no product found as you can see and I can't even add it now if I come back to my home screen I will see all the product which I have recently added the almonds hovis bread and dark chocolate they are in, in my list these are all the list uh, I've this is the list which it shows all the product um, regardless of which list it belongs to then I have list manager and in the list manager you have four <coughs> different lists favorite healthy avoid and delete <coughs> so you can see your favorite list here these are only the one which are in favorite not all all of them so on the home screen you get all the product and here you get only favorite here you get only healthy and here what you need to avoid delete is empty because I haven't deleted any product yet so let's see if we can delete a product if I want to delete snack mr. Tom here I will hold it will show me a warning that I want to that are you sure you want to remove the product if I press no it will go back nothing will happen if I press it again and hold it and I want I, if I, if I pre, press yes it will remove the product from the list is gone into delete now and here it's not anymore here now <coughs> so if I want to delete another product maybe Henry Hippo and I press it delete it's here now it's not here anymore so the delete I was going to uh, you know restore put an option of restore uh, in the delete uh, list but 
I couldn't do it. Well, the time was not enough, so I just left it. But there is a way, like you don't just delete it. It goes in a in a separate list. But if it's in a delete list, then it is delete for ev permanently. <coughs> Sorry. So for example, if I delete any product from this delete list, it will be delete permanently. It won't. There won't be any other chance. So, if you see, it's been deleted now. Uh, I wanted to put an option of restoring it, but couldn't do it. I spent too much time on it already, so that's why I didn't do it. But I've just put like there is still an option. If you can, you have to delete it twice. It's not permanently deleted. When you delete it from favorite, healthy, or avoid, you still have one more option, the one more chance to see the product, because it goes in the delete first, and then you from delete you can delete it per permanently. Another thing is when you <coughs> uh, delete any product, it does not show you straight away. Uh, like obviously this rich rich roast coffee has been deleted but it's, it's, it's still showing up here when you refresh it it is gone then but I wanted to work on it but couldn't do it I've spent too much time but it's here now and you can delete it from here and if you want if you delete it from here it will be lost forever then and you can refresh it it's gone now so there are these are the four different list you can, and at home screen you get all the products and add screen you can add few more more products thank you very much that was uh, that was my demo i hope you like it uh, if you have any questions you can ask me on my email or on teams Thank you very much.